the back room in my house is fancy. It's fancy for a reason. COVID struck and you couldn't go out anywhere. We couldn't go out anywhere. And it was, hey, you know what? We're missing out on some things, but we don't have to. So we decided to put the investment into having a nice place to go when you get off of work. So the back room is a really nice place for us to go and for us to hang out, uh, smoke some nice cigars, have some wine, have some whiskey, have some mixed drinks, listen to some jazz, and to just be fancy. Because you know what? We all deserve a little fancy. Hey, hey everybody, it is Nikki here with Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and I thought I would share with you on New Year's Eve some of my vintage barware that has come down to me either through inheritance, I've inherited it, or my husband has inherited it, or that we've collected through some of you guys out there in the YouTube world, or even on eBay, or while we were out and about. So hang with me, stay tuned, and see what I got. Okay, so the first thing I say when I say barware that does not come to mind is coffee. I have a coffee bar in my back room and it is a full service coffee bar. So you can have a special adult coffee or you can have a hot cocoa or you can have a special adult hot cocoa or you can have an espresso, a cappuccino what have you. So if you have the fancy coffee bar, you have to have the fancy coffee wear. So one of them I have, here's my latte cup. So when I have a fancy little latte, I drink it out of this little nice babies right here. Um, I picked this up on eBay. Um, a woman was selling them to help support her son go to music school. So I picked up that one. I also have a very cool from Italy. Uh, little sets of a little espresso mug, little Demitas cups. I have a set of four of these and four of the others as well. So this is for my espresso. It's a nice little small one. And then rounding out the fun coffee bar is my Bailey's cup, my winking Bailey's girls. I have two of these winkers, little Bailey winkers, little creepy zoids. They are the Helen Hunt ones here. Uh, for charity in LA, but I love the creep vibe in these. They're just creepy enough, but still pretty. They're pretty creepy. So those are my fancy coffee mugs. And I'm gonna be honest, I love the back room in my house is fancy, it's fancy for a reason. COVID struck and you couldn't go out anywhere. We couldn't go out anywhere. And it was, hey, you know what? We're missing out on some things, but we don't have to. So we decided to put the investment into having a nice place to go when you get off of work. So the back room is a really nice place for us to go and for us to hang out, uh, smoke some nice cigars, have some wine, have some whiskey, have some mixed drinks, listen to some jazz, and to just be fancy. Because you know what? We all deserve a little fancy. So let's continue with the fancy, because you can't be fancy unless you got fancy barware. So here's a nice little fancy glass. This is a Perond. I'm probably so massacring that. P-E-R-N-O-D. There's a funny story behind these. This is the last one I have left. I sold a set of four on eBay. They were actually in my neighbor's yard under her stairs in a milk crate. And I found them only by rescuing terracotta pots. And these were underneath the terracotta pots. So... This was one of my first gold mine finds. Um, I did sell a lot of four of these for $50 on eBay. And they did sell after a couple months of being up there, but they did sell. And it's just a really great fancy little, you know, glass to feel super special with your G&Ts. So that's one. Another really fancy, not fancy glass is this guy. I've also sold these, a couple of these on eBay. This is a Victoria Station Vic Boathouse this is a wharf rat glass. This is from Salem, Massachusetts on the wharf, a Pickering Wharf. And let me put a little thing in here so you guys can see it really super quick. So you can see the little rat that is on there. There you go. See Victoria Station, it's a wharf rat. And on the back of the glass is the recipe for the drink. These are deadly. <laughs> 
This is a souvenir glass. Vic's Boathouse and Victoria Station is no longer in operation. They have since closed down. And it was a very uh, rummy drink, but it tasted like liquid Pez. Like if you imagine a Pez, it was so sweet. You didn't realize that you had drank too many of them until you had drank too many of them. So I've got one of those for, you know, when you're feeling a little fancy there too. Uh, you're going to make a mixed drink. This was a gift from Dave and Tammy over at Vintage Uprising Texas. We had been in a bidding war with another kind of uh, mixed drink maker and he won. And they found this in their escapades uh, across country and they sent this to me. So this sits proudly out on my bar all the time. I should keep that down, huh? Then let's see, I got this low ball glass from my partner in crime there, Janice, Jen. And these are great little mixed drink guys. These are the Roaring Twenties glasses. They're low ball glasses. You know, th these are definitely coming out on New Year's for a little bit of fun. I got this next set from, it was Claudia K Vintage's first sale online and I got this stuff. So I got a set of Lobo glasses here from her. These are super fancy. These are for when you're feeling like, I think he's gotta always be up. So these I'm in love with because of the purple. It has this uh, smoky purple color that goes all the way around. And I love the feel of them. Then we've got, of course, you have to have a fancy shot glass. And I've got a little season's greeting shot glass we found out and about in our travels. And that had to come home, you know, just to have quickie or for when you're making your hot toddies you know just how much whiskey to put in and let's see my last glass to show off is this guy these were inherited they were part of the families these are i'm going to call them roosters i'm not going to say the other word these are rooster highball glasses these are straight out of the 60s they are gold and red got horses on them they are just I have a set of six of these. So these will be in the collection for quite some time to come. Now, last but not least, to show you just how fancy I tend to be, I have a decanter. This one is empty. My dad gave this to me. He's had this since, I don't know, the 80s, maybe even before that, maybe even the 70s. He's had this forever, and it is my wine, one of my wine decanters. I have two wine decanters. This is one of them. John likes his whiskey. He's got about three or four whiskey decanters. So yes. We do decant. It does sit out because it just makes you feel special. It makes you feel fancy. It makes you feel ritzy. It makes you try it. I'm telling you, just try it. Go get yourself one, pour your bottle of wine in there, put the topper on. And anytime you want a glass of wine or a glass of whiskey or what have you, go pour out of this and just tell me how fancy you feel pouring something out of this into something like this. And that's it. Those are all of my fancy barware bits. So from me to you, have a very happy new year. Fingers, toes, arms, everything crossed that next year is way better than this year is. Let's go 2022. And until next time, stay swanky and stay classy.